Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest moon. So, no need to go into the last episodes or anything, just know that this happened. And this being that, uh, it's Jake's birthday. We're here. We're freaking bad as the bone or something, I don't know, man. I figured that I would stay here overnight, purely due to the fact that I was, uh, I, I, I was hanging at home, being, being a cool guy, and then it started raining. And that was like, oh, it's raining. I'll just go to bed because I'm not thinking straight. And then it was raining again, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh right, that could have been a storm, and I have no way to predict it because Alicia doesn't work on rainy days for some reason. Ah. Well, on the second rainy day in a row, let's not risk, you know, everything being destroyed. <laughs> and so we're here. Skill up, but with no sound effect. Just another thing. 1331 wood. I wanted to show this because I've been doing a little bit of, uh, grinding. A little bit of grinding. <laughs> and since it's Jake's birthday, let's buy a platinum for 8,800G. It's a rough price. A metal ore used to make weapons and accessories very rare and hard to obtain. He's lucky I love him, because dang if this isn't worth it. That's over 10 times the price. The reason that it's 10 times the price, though, is that it can be used. It isn't just a random throwaway item, so... Ugh. In addition to that, we're going to be picking up the mana request, Can you deliver something for me? Alright, first things first, the reason we're here today, Jake himself. Morning! There might be hope for you yet, human. You say you've lost your memory? Sounds suspicious to me. I'm not making it up. Sure, you say that, human, but why should I believe you? Because I have platinum. A birthday present? Well, I'm grateful, I suppose. Is the sword you have already not good enough for you anymore? Yes, correct. I want a better one. Cece likes to wander off alone sometimes. When she goes away, I can't help but to worry about her. Jake is up at 6 now. I'm hoping by the end of the year I'll have everyone at 10. That's my hope, at least. I could start actually giving gifts to people again, to all the random townspeople. That would probably be a smart thing. Tony likes apples, which I just shipped. <laughs> Ah, uh, Cal, you saw my post on the bulletin board. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to make a delivery for me. Do you think you can do it? No problem. What am I taking and to whom? Okay, it's addressed to somebody living on the farm just outside of town. The farm outside of town? You mean me? Bingo, that's right. You got a present. Thanks. Wow, can I open it? Go ahead. This is a red scarf? Yeah, I need it a little bit each day. But it's in the middle of summer. Oh no, this would be different depending on when. Okay, uh, future Gabe, you decide how you're handling this. It's still look good on you, even in the summer, okay? I've gone to the trouble of making it for you, so I want to see it around your neck. Well, thanks. It's a lovely gift. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Okay, future Gabe will tell me how that works. The red scarf. A red knitted scarf full of love and kindness with a touch of the loneliness of winter. Huh? Wait. I thought this was an accessory. I'm so glad I've made you happy, Kyle. What? Yeah, it's a curio item, not an accessory. What's the red scarf for? Uh, give me a minute. Okay, I did some searching, and apparently there's a lot of misinformation about this online. I had completely forgotten the red scarf existed. Um, some people online are saying, oh, it's a, you know, not very good 
accessory or whatever, they're thinking the fluffy scarf. The red scarf doesn't do anything. So, Mana's red scarf, it does nothing. People online are confusing it for the fluffy scarf, and, um... This is just a curio item. It's nice. It's a sweet gift. It's useless. Some people throw it away, aka okay, throw it on the ground, it never comes back. For some reason, it doesn't go to the Lost and Found like all the other curio items. I don't know, man. It's, it's weird. It's cute! It was a nice scene! We're done, actually. So, guys, I will meet you guys on the next day, which I think is the fishing competition? Which is just a few days from now. So I'll see you all then. And I hope you all have a fit. I don't know, this isn't actually the end. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. So, let's talk to everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Are you working hard every day? Hi uh, Kyle, it's the fishing contest today. This one requires some patience. I hope all the participants do their very best. Okay. Good morning, Kyle. <laughs> Good morning, Mana. Today's the fishing contest. Do you like fishing, Kyle? Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Nice seeing you again today. It's nice seeing you too. Today's the fishing contest. Good luck if you plan on entering. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Kyle. Hey, would you like me to try to see who I like right now? That's not fortunate in telling at all. Today's the fishing contest. Are you gonna try fishing today, Kyle? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. Today's the fishing contest. This town's caught fish are famous for being especially delicious. Fishing is a fierce, heroic battle. A match between person and fish. A gladiatorial contest where your wits will earn you glorious victory or crushing defeat. Just kidding. I was just quoting my brother. Fishing is relaxing, isn't it? Today's the fishing contest. Are you going to compete, Kyle? Yes, yes I am. Today's the fishing contest today. I don't re really see you as much of a fisherman, Kyle. Hey, I'm over 35. Don't even... Do Come on. Don't judge me. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Fishing is a really... Is a really... F uh, mm, this sounds familiar. <laughs> it's a battle between men and fish. I read somewhere once that the fish with the quickest mind wins the contest. I don't know if I entirely believe that. I don't like the thought of losing a battle of wits with a fish. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. I guess I'm lonely whenever I don't get to see you. Today's the fishing contest. Me, I'm happy enough just eating fish. That's fair. They're good for you, and they taste pretty dang good, too. And while it may not be good for you, man, do I love beer-battered cod. Oh, right, not until 9 a.m. Good morning, Kyle. What's up? Today's the fishing contest. Fishing's so boring, I'm no good at it. Good morning, Kyle. Hey, wanna play? There's a fishing contest today. Kyle, are you any good at fishing? I don't know what the heck is with this voice. It's getting worse every time. I'm okay, I suppose. I wish I was a little better, though. The fish in Alvarna are really delicious. Sure, that's what Alvarna's famous for. Oh, Kyle, you should enter the contest, too. Good morning, Kyle. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. Today's the fishing contest. I think I might be better at preparing fish, though. Hmm, weird. I thought he'd actually be good at that. I don't know why. Morning. Morning, Kyle. Today's the fishing contest. I don't mind fishing. Of course you don't. Mr. Salmon Lover. Good morning, Kyle. I'm happy to see you again today. It's the fishing contest today. I did fish a lot back when I was small. You would, Char Lover. Morning. Morning. There might be hope for you yet, human. Today's the fishing contest. Sounds stupid. Real many boar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, neither of them would be here, so that makes sense. Alright. Uh. I suppose before. I want it to reach 9 a.m. so I can talk with the rest of the people before the contest starts. So for now, let's go mining. By the way, I'm not sure if I've shown it off yet, but. The Noel grass is actually done. Alright. What can I do for you today? Good morning. You look like you're doing well today. A fishing contest today. I'd rather eat fish than try to catch them. Morning. Morning, kid. How you doing? Good morning, Douglas. I'm fine, thank you. 
It is the fishing contest. I don't like fishing. They don't make me pull straight up from a monster-sized mitts. That's fair, actually. Good morning, Kyle! You should come with my serpent sometimes! <laughs> Today is the fishing contest! I'm more of a pro at eating fish myself! If you're participating, be sure to catch me a tasty fish! That's fair. Not everyone has to be good at fishing. Alright. So, this fishing contest is pretty easy going. Oh, Kyle, are you gonna compete in the fishing contest? It's a chance to show off your fine fishing skills. If you win, that special someone's opinion of you will no doubt go up. What's more, the winner will receive a fabulous prize. So how about it? Oh, also, it's pretty obvious, but if you don't have a fishing pole, you won't be able to compete. What's that, Kyle? You're interested in the fishing contest this year? Sure, sounds fun. Really? That's a surprise. You don't seem like you're that serious about fishing. Are you farming most of the time? <laughs> yeah, but I still do enjoy fishing every now and then. Besides, what do I have to lose? Well, I guess you have a point. I'm not really interested in the competition part. I just want to break my own personal record. I'm just here to challenge myself, mostly. That's a pretty good attitude for any competition. <laughs> Don't slack off, though. That doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on you. I know. Um, hello. Dorothy, are you competing this year, too? Yes, that's not the right name tag. <laughs> really? Well, good luck. Thank you. I'm in. And that's what I'm talking about, Kyle! And now for the rules. You'll be judged in the fishing contest based on the size of the fish you catch. And the fish we'll be catching today is the... Da -da 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 Sardine! Okay, so... The fishing contest. We'll go into a little bit of more meta stuff before we actually get into it. The fish that you need to catch can be any fish. Supposedly. It's... Random? It... I, I haven't found... Like tables for this anywhere and people are just like oh it can be a bunch of different fish but it seems to be weighted towards the sardine which i believe you can catch where i'll i'm about to show you um my best advice if it's not the sardine google it there are there's a list of all the fish for rune factory 2 you can find the spot for it for summer and all this just you know, don't rely on me for that part because there are just so many different variations it's not really worth showing them all. It doesn't change anything. Once you hook a nice big sardine, bring it to me! Only one entry per contestant, so make sure you give me the biggest fish you catch! The person who catches the biggest sardine will be awarded the grand prize! Do you need to hear the rules again? Uh, no, let's go. Everyone's all set then! Okay, fishing contest starts! morning, Kyle. Today's the fishing contest. I don't mind fishing. Um, so, the way I understand it is that you can talk to everyone before, during, and after this competition. And it'll count as three unique ways to talk to them. I will do a little bit more research, but, you know, the fact that it's giving the good morning again now means that it probably is working. I'm just going to skip through it all, so I'll meet you guys where I'm going to fish. Blessy Island, here we are. And fishing we shall do. We're level 35 in fishing. And, uh, we should do it. Maybe. Possibly. We'll try. <laughs> is, it, is it seriously just gonna not give me any fish? There we go. Sardine, 16 centimeters. Uh, is that big enough to win this competition? 18 centimeters. I think that's big enough to win this competition. Okay, uh, it says that this is big enough. We will give it a shot. I have a save already, ready to go, so we should be good. The issue I have with this is that we're never sure about anything. Everything's hearsay and everything, and I could test around... But You know what? I can test around... Let's test the 16 centimeter. What a shame, Kyle. The grand prize goes to Barrett. Congratulations. Honorable mention goes to Dorothy. The participant prize goes to Kyle. 
I don't even. Wow. I am. Oof. Okay, let's try to win now. Well, this is bigger than I would have ever imagined. Sure, this is an unprecedented discovery. Two centimeters. What? The highest honor is awarded to Kyle's submission. Congratulations, I hereby confer you the title Fabulous Fisherman. Your accomplishment will be rewarded with the Formula C. Oh, that's actually good. Uh, the results of the contest are Grand Prize Kyle, Honorable Mention Barrett, and Participation Dorothy. Grand Prize, good work. Looks like I couldn't break my own record. That was quite a catch. Nice work. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. I'm happy to see you again today. That was amazing. I'm very impressed. Haha, -ha, victory! So, 18 centimeters. They're right. Uh, 16 gets you last place. So I guess 17 would get you second place? But, like, if we win with 18, how does that make any sense? Whatever. I don't know what it is, but I'm... Yeah, okay. Congratulations on winning. I guess if I'm ever in the mood for fresh fish, all I need to do is ask you. You're pretty good at fishing, Kyle. I wish I were that good. You won. You're amazing, Kyle. Well, you're quite the fisherman, Kyle. That's impressive. Well, you're a real fisherman, Kyle. A real man of the sea or river, I guess. No, it was definitely sea. Anybody can fish. It's all based on luck anyway. Do you need some tips? I can give you some tips. The title of Fabulous Fisherman goes to Kyle. Congratulations! Impressive skills. I didn't think you had any, yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kyle. Congratulations, Kyle. And you, and you even beat Barrett. He takes his fishing very seriously. Sebastian him is no easy feat. He must have some serious fishing skills. You know, I thought I had the patent on extreme versatility. <laughs> Truly, you're a worthy rival. Wow, looks like you caught a big one. Maybe next time you'll catch one for me, too. Oh. Uh, yeah, Alicia and Rosalind are the only two that aren't at 10 now, as far as the girls go. Wild. I still have some more people to talk to, but I just noticed that because I like checking these things. Cal, you're really good at fishing, aren't you? I'm surprised. So you won, did you? I never knew fishing was your thing. Hello! You did it, Kyle! Hey there. Hello, you're really good at fishing, Kyle. Well, Kyle, you're amazing! Maybe you should become a fisherman instead of a farmer. What do you think? Nah, I'm good. I make so much money off farming. Congratulations, Kyle. You're quite the fisherman. Yes, yes, I am. Alright, I believe that's everyone. So, uh, for the day... Egan and Herman are at four. Ray, Tanya, Roy, and Gordon are at five. Douglas, Byron, Barrett, Natalie, and Max are all at six. Jake is at seven. Cammy is at eight. Rosalind and Alicia. No, Rosalind is at nine friendship and love. Alicia is at ten friendship and nine love. And then the rest of the girls are all at ten and ten. Feels good. That's the entire event, though. It was a really simple event. Um, huh, I apparently messed up watering down here. I'm gonna be real with you, I really don't need to be watering all this stuff. Like, did I? I showed, right? I'm at 527,000 gold. Like, I don't care about the next harvest. I'm deciding it now. Guys, Watch as I destroy everything I've worked for. And the reason I'm even doing this, by the way. 1714 feed. I don't need feed, and I won't for a couple years in game. I'm destroying it all. Uh, I'll plant again during the uh, fall. Or I'll, I'll destroy most of everything. I want a few things of eggplants, and I want to keep my corn. As well as the cucumbers. Just so I have those sources of those to... I'm not sure what I need, so I'd rather not just destroy them. If that makes sense. But, yeah, I think during the fall I'm not going to bother doing all of this. 
Instead, I'll just go in and I will plant, like, whatever I think I'm going to need for when I can start cooking, because we all know I'm going to be cooking at some point. And then I'll be able to just move on. So, I'll keep, like, just a tiny bit up front, and that's it. Guys, I'll see you on the next day. Give me just a minute. You know what? Surprised on what day. You will know in just a second. I won't know for like probably five more minutes and then won't be recording again for another couple hours so I play up to that point. My guess is it's like the 28th or something. We'll see though. Um, if there's not another birthday this month then it's the first to fall. Which, if so. Welcome back. Alright, it's the 28th, which uh, means it's Alicia's birthday, so, uh... Bah! Skill up. Wait, I just realized, skill up? Dang it. One more level. Alright, and now it's time to purchase the Emerald Ring. A ring with a brilliant glittering emerald that will make your fingers sparkle. It's nice. And also, we're completely out of space. Uh, hurry up! Hurry up! Go to your spot! Go to your spot! Alright. I'm so happy. My fortune said that I would get Emerald Ring on my birthday. Good. Good. I'm very glad to hear that. And I have no idea if that actually is worth any affection with her. Let's see. It is, apparently, because I haven't done a uh, single reading since the last time, so, uh... Huh. I actually didn't think that would work. Gifts don't normally work with her. So... neat. Rosalind's the only one who's not at ten, so I can easily get her up just by talking to her or doing the normal, you know, stuff. Uh, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in just a moment for you, in probably, like, an hour or something for me. When we're on the first of autumn. To adventure! Alright guys, welcome to fall. Already, after like an episode or two of summer. Yeah! <laughs> and, uh, once again, it's one of the Rune Factory 1 situations where the game's gonna kind of... Uh, it's not as bad as Rune Factory 1. Let, let me preface that. I don't have to be doing this, but I want to show everything before a change happens when I can start doing all the other stuff. So, because I'm doing a Let's Play, it's as bad as Rune Factory 1. <laughs> Normally, you could be doing whatever you want at whatever pace. But, we're in fall. So I already planted this stuff. I bought one of every single, uh, one of the non-phantom crops, except for the Charm Blue, which I already had a thing of seeds. And, uh, except for carrots, which I bought two thing of carrot seeds, because I'm gonna actually need, like, 15 in total, I think? Something like that. More than 9, but less than 19. <laughs> I think it's 15 or something. So, yeah. We, uh, we have this huge empty field, and I am at farming level almost 93. It's pretty ridiculous at this point how fast we go. Also, I apparently keep forgetting to talk to Byron at the end of festival, so that's a thing. Good morning, guy. Are you working hard every day? Today is the day of the adventure contest. If you're gonna take part, make sure you can't do anything, you don't do anything too dangerous, okay? Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, old man. Morning, Mena. The adventure contest is today. Just why do boys love these kind of events so much anyway? Morning, Kyle. Today's the adventure contest. Going to my fortune. Well, I'd better not say. Today's the adventure contest. Are you going to participate, Kyle? So Jake is one of the participants. Morning. Morning, Kyle. I'm happy to see you again today. It's the adventure contest today. Please don't get yourself hurt or anything. Cammy wanted to take part too, actually. Morning. Morning, Kyle. Today's the adventure contest. Sounds childish to me. You may say that, but sometimes adventure's fun. Mind you, I'm the kind of person who isn't big on adventure. I'm more of a just have some good food, relax, watch a film, or chat with my, your friends, that kind of thing. But 
Today is the adventure contest. This one sounds like it was just made for you, Kyle. It sounds too dangerous for me, though. When you're traveling from town to town, don't you have to deal with monsters sometimes? What do you do? I'm always so scared that I just sprint away as fast as I can. There's no way I could handle dealing with them in the adventure contest. I think that she'd have a good chance of winning the competition, but... I mean, to be fair, you don't have to fight any monsters for this contest. Running as fast as possible would absolutely get you a good place. No, first place, but we'll show that why. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. I don't know what it is, but I'm always happy when I get to see your face. I think the adventure contest is really just entertainment. Regardless of whether you win or lose, it's fun to, enough to participate. Then again, sometimes it can be fun to really try and win. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Are you doing well? Good morning, Ray. Today's the adventure contest. I'm not as good as... I'm not so good at this one. Are you going to enter, Kyle? Yes, yes, I am. So, it's Jake and I believe Tanya. Yep. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. The adventure contest? If you're going to enter, then I think I'll sit out this time. That's fair. <laughs> morning. Good morning, Kyle. I get so lonely whenever I don't get to see you. It's the adventure contest today, but I think I'll pass. After all, adventuring and stuff can get pretty dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely sounds a little scary if you're not used to dealing with monsters. But it shouldn't be any problem for you, right? You'll win it for sure. Absolutely. Morning! Morning, Kyle! What's up? Today's the adventure contest! This is my event! <laughs> yeah, you love your adventures, Roy. I know shortcuts that nobody else knows. You won't get anything out of me, though. There's an adventure contest today. That sounds exciting. I want to compete, too. <laughs> Cammy, you really like that sort of thing, don't you? If you're ever in trouble, I'll come to your rescue, Kyle. Today's the adventure contest. You look like you'll be able to hold your own, Kyle. Morning. Morning, Kyle. Today's the adventure contest. My swordsmanship skills should come in handy. If we point at it, competing, you better stay out of my way, human. It's the adventure contest today. Are you ready to head on out? I need to kill some time until 9 a.m. So I might as well take care of my crops. It's the adventure contest today. Ah, this usually leads to some injuries. That's... yeah. Morning. Morning, kid. How you doing? Good morning, Douglas. Today's the adventure contest. Every man's gonna go out on adventures. I'd better see you than there. Good morning! Good morning! Today's the adventure contest! I hope you're gonna enter! A little adventure is good for the soul! Just don't hurt any monsters or else you're going to hiffle! And now finally, Herman himself. Oh, Kyle, will you be participating in the adventure contest? For the adventure contest, we'll measure the time it takes for you to find a specific item in a wild area. You'll be competing to find the item in the shortest possible time! It's a chance to show off your skills as an amazing adventurer! And if you win, that special someone's opinion of you will no doubt go up! What's more, the winner will receive a fabulous prize! So how about it? What's up, human? Sure you can't be considering joining in the competition. I don't know. I don't know how many wild areas you've tried exploring, but there's no way a human could ever set any record worth beating. Needless to say, I'll be joining the competition with time to spare. Winning, not joining. My senses are like my muscles, well built and finely honed. Really? Let me see. Wow, you've got abs of steel, Jake. Uh, what are you doing? Stop that! What? It's not like you're all up flabby. He should be proud, right, Kyle? Um, sure. So you think of competing as well, Tanya? Yep. What? You're competing? Do you understand the point of the adventure contest? Or are you just here to wave a sword around? Me? I'm the queen of adventure. And watch how you talk to your boss. If you don't mind your manners, I'll send you right back to that forge. Besides, what would Celia think if she saw you being so rude? D what? Shut up! I am absolutely in. I'm... yeah, no problem. That's what I like! That's what I'm talking about, Kyle! And now for the rules! When I say start the timer, it immediately starts running. So please, head to Blessy Island as quickly as possible. When you reach the island, head to the section furthest northeast and start checking in every nook and cranny for the amethyst. Bless you, island northeast. So that would be the boat, but a vague memory says it's not the boat. I think this is a mistranslation, if I'm remembering right. I think it might be the beach south of the boat. 
Not positive. I hate it so you won't be able to see it, so you don't- If you don't check everywhere, you won't be able to find it. It'll be time from the moment the clock starts to the instant you find the amethyst. Do you need to hear the rules again? Uh, let's go. Okay, let's get this started. Is everyone prepared? Okay, and your marks. Get set. Go! And, uh... Yeah. If you didn't see this coming, you don't know me well enough. We have the ability to control time. So let's control time. I think I remember where it is. I have a vague memory. So, uh, I was reading online about this a little bit just to kind of freshen up on which uh, one this was. Because it has been quite some time. But, uh, people were like, oh yeah, this is one of the hardest uh, competitions in the first year. And I'm like, really? I don't remember, and I'm like, oh right, most people don't know that you can abuse your time powers. Or they just feel like it's cheating. I think it's over here. No? Oh, there we go. Amethyst, it's the adventure contest item. So I don't think you have to worry about time on the way back, if I'm remembering correctly. But I may also just be thinking of the last contest, so yeah. Please, I had to bless you out as quickly as possible. Once you reach out, I head to the section for... Oh, what an unbelievably fast time! To think I'd love to see an unprecedented speed! Congratulations, Cal, let me to greet you the title of Adventurer King! For your efforts, Cal, I'll present you with this Greenifier. I was thinking of the previous one. You did have to turn in. You got the Greenifier. It took less than three hours. That's amazing time. Congratulations, Kyle. So I guess three hours is the cutoff point, which is actually doable without abusing. I wasn't even close. Hm. Don't think you're special just because you were a little bit faster than me. Good morning, Kyle. Can I interest you in a new sword? Well, you did well. Did my sword help you out? Uh, my time powers did. Morning. Morning, Kyle. I can't believe I lost you. Not bad for a human. On to the next people! To the left, to the left! Everything you own in the box to the left! Congratulations on winning the adventure contest. I don't think I can say anything except I'm impressed. That was amazing, Kyle. I'm nowhere near as good as you. You're good in your own ways. Kyle is dumb. He could never be a doctor. <laughs> or anything close. I know you could do it, Kyle. You're really something. I'm amazed. I bet you'd be a good bodyguard for me next time I have to go on a trip. Impressive moves, Kyle. I think you've got the potential to become an amazing runner. Adventure. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Nice seeing you again today. Congratulations on winning. That's incredible. That's wonderful, Kyle. The card said you'd become a fine adventurer. Oh, uh, well, I knew you could do it, Kyle. You would. Just don't want to go to your head. Of course not. Never. Now that I think about it. Okay, don't on me right now. So. Herman's the only one at four now. He went up to five, I guess, this morning when I spoke with him. Doing pretty good. Huh, you're pretty good. Good morning, Kyle. Are you working hard every day? Well done, Kyle. Yeah. Congratulations, you did it, Kyle. Well, you're really amazing, Kyle. I think I'll you in my adventure club. That was incredible, Kyle. We should go out exploring sometime. I mean, time powers really do help. You're really something, Kyle. I'm sure me using that time powers just instantly win this prevented a lot of injuries. Nice yeah, going, kid. I'm impressed. You did it, Kyle! That's all you have to say? Alright, Tanya's not there. Good morning, Kyle. Ah, uh, Kyle. I have to congratulate you. Here, your time to enter a contest with nothing short of legendary. You're amazing, Kyle. From now on, if there's anything I need done, I'll be sure to ask you. That's already what's been happening. <laughs> and I think that's everyone? Yeah, I talked to everyone. So, awesome. Rad. I'm glad to hear everyone likes me a bit more. But that's the end of this event. Uh, there's not really anything else I can show today. So, this was about 19 minutes. It was probably closer to 
12 to 15? 12, maybe? I think I have one more in me for this episode. Hopefully. I, I don't know. I These episodes are a bit different than my normal thing. Okay. Then I am going to play up until the 6th now to get to Max's birthday. I shall see you all in just a moment. It's an earthquake! That was a pretty big one, woo! Well, it looks like it's over. I hope everyone's okay. And it's raining, which is perfect. Love that. Love to see that. What's well, nice. So, uh... I guess I'll talk to everyone and see what's up. And while talking to everyone, let's talk to Mana for her next quest. Oh, she gets to go in early. Another earthquake, uh... Hope this ain't the start of something serious. Hey, Cow, do you want to come with me to Cherry Blossom Square? Cherry Blossom Square? Yeah, I want to talk with you there. You're not busy, are you? No, I've got time. Great, I'll meet you there. Come and find me, promise. Another earthquake, and I still don't see it coming. How strange. Can you believe there was another earthquake? I can't deal with them anymore. Was everything okay? My house was fine, but... Yeah, I'm fine too. Still, it doesn't seem like there have been a lot of earthquake these days. I wonder if there's something going on. Yeah. Yeah, there are, actually. I forget that there can be so many earthquakes, let alone everyone responds every time, so... Another earthquake! There's been too many of those recently. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, me too. I didn't ask you, human. Another blasted earthquake. A weapon shop is about the worst place in the world to be during an earthquake. I need to come up with an emergency plan just in case a way out of here, you know? If anything ever happens to me, promise me you'll come to the shop, will you, Kyle? Wait a second, I don't know about that. How about, you know, properly strap everything to the walls? Things like that. Even during the earthquake. Good morning. There was another earthquake we had. At least nobody got hurt. Another earthquake? They're starting to get a ominous. There was another earthquake. Are you okay? I'm fine, but what about you, Dorothy? Oh, I'm, I'm okay. It was scary, but I'm fine now. Seems that the more these happen, the more freaked out people are getting. Another earthquake. I've got an awful feeling about this. It was in some... That was some earthquake. I thought my whole house was going to collapse. I thought the earthquake was really powerful. The cracks in the wall from the last earthquake have gotten bigger. Uh, yeah, you really need to get those fixed. I know the earthquake. Doesn't it feel like something strange is happening? No, the earthquake! There's been a lot of those! I've got a real bad feeling! There's another earthquake! I didn't really mind, though! Really? Well, I'm glad nothing happened to you. They really scared the daylights out of Dorothy, but they didn't bother me! Wild. I guess maybe he's at home right now? Roy must be upstairs. Mm, and yeah, another earthquake. There have been a few too many for my liking recently. Tell me, Kyle, have you decided what you want to be in the future? Huh? No, not yet. I think I'd like to be a teacher. A school teacher. What do you do you think that would suit me? Hmm, a teacher. Wow, man, I'm impressed. That's a pretty noble calling. Hey, you make it sound as, as if that's a surprise. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it that way, but honestly, I really am very impressed. A teacher? That's a great idea. I sure you'd make a great teacher, Mana. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I'm glad. So, quick quiz for you. What is the most important must-have-to-have, absolutely cannot-do-without thing for a teacher? Something you need to become a teacher? Uh, others? A love of children? Nope, that's not it. You're overthinking it, Kyle. Okay, then... Okay, then, teacher. What's the answer? Simple. A school. A school, of course. There's no school in Alverna, is there? Not yet, but look at this place, Kyle. Don't you think this would be the perfect spot for a school? You're right, there's our lovely trees around here, too. It'd be a great place for children to learn. Wouldn't it just? That's settled, then. What is... What do you think? You're gonna build our school, Kyle? 
What? Me? That's right. I'm gonna teach the school. I'm gonna teach in the school that you build, Kyle. How does that sound? It sounds pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Doesn't it? A school. I think I can manage that. But just how much money and materials is this gonna take, I wonder? Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you can do it. Okay, I'll give it my best effort. Great. Thanks for coming and listening to me today, too. I enjoyed talking about the future with you, Kyle. Me too. I'd better get home anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. The dreams of the future. Being a teacher would be a noble thing. I can actually see that for her. But, you know, who knows what the future will hold. The answer is me, I know. So, would UA be here during the rain? No. The day sent Kokio Manor? Yes, okay. Morning! Morning, Kyle. Another earthquake. Of course all my merchandise got scattered around again. Those earthquakes are hard on you, aren't they? Very hard. I feel like I'm cussed or something. That's rough, buddy. Oh, Roy was right here the entire time. Morning! Morning, Kyle! What's up? Another quake. I was surprised. My mom's screaming, of course. <laughs> Rude! How dare you! The earthquake this morning really scared me. It made a real mess of the shop, too. I mean, in a big place with this, with all the stuff sitting out, I'm sure it would. Finally. Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. Yeah, he was right here. Morning. Morning, Kyle. How are you? There was another earthquake. This is starting to get dangerous. Yeah, it is. I believe that was everyone. To my best knowledge, that's everyone. So, that's the end of today. And rather than go on to the next birthday, I'm actually going to stop here. I... I, I just... You know what? I don't want to stop is the problem. I need to stop. I'm sure we're over on time by this point. <laughs> Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factor 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. We'll be going to Max's birthday. I believe there will be one more birthday after that before the next thing. But we're just going to be jumping from birthday to birthday to event to do everything. Next episode, we'll be getting... Give me one second before I say exactly what we're doing next episode. Alright, I did some math, I figured things out, and I know what we're doing, and how we're doing it. Next episode, we will probably be finishing a huge portion of this game. We will at least be getting through Autumn next episode. And I will be going through the final events for every single Bachelorette. After that, either that episode or probably the following episode, yeah, the following episode, I will go through and we'll do the marriage. And I will cover every single Bachelorette during that time. Which means I will have made this video before I made Rune Factory once. Crap. <laughs> uh... Oh wow, I really need to fix all that stuff. I had I had the file and everything on my 3DS. Man, this is not great for my self-esteem. <laughs> Alright, it's fine though. We can do this. I, I'll get to that at a different time. There's two episodes left for this portion, and then we unlock more content. I'm excited. Let's do this, guys. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.